Hello, Chadwin. How are you today? I'm okay, Dr. Ray. Well, the weather has been quite beautiful lately. Have you gotten a chance to get out and enjoy it? Nah, not really. Um, I was really feeling up to it, so I didn't really care to. Huh. That's a shame. It says here on your file that you enjoy the outdoors. I mean, that's true. But the last couple months, um, just haven't been feeling like myself. Feeling tired, a little sluggish. Mm -hmm. Been like hard to get up in the mornings. And yeah been running late to work and even missed work a couple of times. Mm. Why are you not feeling like yourself? Um, it's life has just been pointless, you know? It's like I feel like just life is meaningless. There's no hope. Why do you feel like that is? Um, of last year, I lost my best friend. And it just happens so suddenly, you know? Like, we were really close. And no one got me like her. Chad and I am I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. She was really important to you, huh? It's like she was the only one that really got me. And she was just like me, like my second me. like I would express how I feel about something and she just knew what I was going to say and finished my sentences. It's just like she got me, you know? Yeah. And I don't feel like anyone can get me like her. What was your friend's name? Madison. Madison, that's that's such a beautiful name. Jadwin, you should never feel like you're replacing what you and Madison had together with any other relationship. Now you mentioned that you're afraid that other people won't get you the way that she did. Have you ever given anyone a chance to connect with you? No, no, because um, I don't want to forget about her. Jadwin, from all that you shared with me today, do you really think you can forget about her because you form new relationships? No, just, guess I'm just upset that she's gone. And someone like that, I can't continue a relationship with. <laughs> What you can continue is her legacy. What do you mean? Think about the way that Madison cared for you and be what Madison was for you, for others. The impact that she had on you can live on through you, but only if you let it. Are you following? Yes. Never really thought about it like that. Well, continue to think about this change of thought because it's going to be very crucial. And now that we've addressed your beliefs, I want for us to um, talk about your coping mechanisms. What have you done or how, what have you been doing to try and cope with her death? Just, just anything, you know, anything that could get my mind off of her by listening to music, 
Mm-hmm. Play video games. Okay. What kind of games do you like to play? Like Minecraft and um, sometimes play 2K. All right. And what kind of music do you like to listen to? Um, just nothing in particular, a little bit of everything, like pop, mm-hmm. um, gospel, country. Anything, anything that could just help me. But these things just seem momentary. They just help me in the moment. Uh, but I try to like pray to God. It just feels like the words just fall on deaf ears and nothing's really getting me out of the funk that I'm in. Yeah. Well, depression isn't something that can simply be gotten over. You know, for some people, it's a lifelong challenge, but it is manageable. I want for us to start small. In addition to changing your mindset, I'd like you to incorporate exercise into your routine a few times a week. Um, I think I could do the mind shift thing, but um... Exercise really isn't my thing. Okay, uh, well, here's the thing, um, Chad, when exercising, it helps you to release endorphins, which help to relieve you of stress and pain. You mentioned that you like music earlier, and I think we can use this to our advantage. Would you consider dancing as a form of exercise? Yeah, I guess I could try it out. That's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. And also, I would like to encourage you to not give up on prayer. I know sometimes it feels like God can't hear you or he's not listening, but he's there and he does care for you. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Dr. Ray. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll see if I could give prayer another shot and try out exercise. Not a problem, um, Chadwin, and absolutely, I, I want for you to succeed. You have great potential. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's set up a follow-up meeting, and um, we'll see how these changes affect your mood. Sounds good? Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, Chadwin, you have an awesome day. Any more questions for me? No, Dr. Ray. All right. Take care.